Hello, and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Red on GTA 5, and they have a simple mission. To steal some supplies from an armoured car. Okay, sounds straightforward enough for GTA 5 and everything. They go about it by pushing said armoured car into an immovable lamppost. And they go to try and grab the car, unfortunately it does reverse. But in all of this commotion, an AI has got freaked out and decides to run over the player. This, a civilian AI, nothing to do with the mission, just a freaked out Hummer trying to turn around and drive straight into the player. Not quite what you need. Uh, Malin up next on Watch Dogs has found the Fowlrace Police Department in another game. Yes, they do make the rounds uh, this time. <laughs> uh, well, there's a little bit of argy-bargy. They turn a corner and one of them falls over at a very low speed and another one crashes into something solid for no real reason. I don't, I don't quite know how that car fell over at such a low speed, but there we go. Uh, Steel Guns is up next on Need for Speed Hop Suit. Now, we've got a race with, you know, some of the fastest cars in the game up against the AI and everything. First corner, and chaos unfolds, with pretty much everyone being wiped out by one traffic car. I mean, kind of rem I say, kind of reminiscent a little bit of, you know, that wet spa race, only, you know, that didn't have traffic cars, but you know what I mean. Small man up next on Project Cars 2, with, well, a good old-fashioned track blockage. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen a good old track blockage on Project Cars, and... Well, this one was quite impressive. Uh, the, I think it was a BMW um, that was further up, got tipped sideways into the first quarter at Long Beach. It's normally Monaco, the track gets blocked out, but Long Beach works as well. Uh, something upset a vehicle in front to tip that BMW sideways, and, well, nothing's really... Well, one Porsche's made it through, and one Mustang's almost done it. Nothing's really gone to plan here. At uh, <laughs> this stage, the Ferrari's been dragged along. Uh, the... The BMW that was kind of the initiator of all this is doing a wheelie and climbing over stuff. Uh, eventually, the Mustangs that we see around here have found a reverse gear and are sorting themselves out. They do get themselves free, to be fair, which is, you know, not bad going. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, when things go wrong, they go wrong on Project Cars. Uh, we move to Beam next, and, uh, well... 300 miles an hour is always a fun goal to be trying to get to. Just, it's probably not a good idea to be doing it in a built-up area where there are trees and curbs. The curb punches the tyre on the car that swiftly loses control. Another curb launches it into a ball of metal uh, before finally bouncing its way into a tree and catching fire. Yeah, probably a little bit too much speed for that area. Uh, Alder is up next on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, I've never played this game, but I have seen this mission appear a few times in this clip, in these clip sort of submissions, because the trucks just don't know what they're doing. I mean, this is the weirdest one yet. This time, we have two trucks managing to fuse together and doing their best helicopter impression? Or spaceship impression. Honestly, I'm not sure at this point. They're definitely not supposed to be flying. I can tell you that much. Uh, next, we have Cha-Cha on Call of Duty. Now, this is a war zone, and you're thinking, well, this is a vehicle, you know, series. What could possibly go wrong with vehicles? They're in the middle of a building. Well, as it turns out, this game has ghost helicopters. Because, yes, while they're doing their own business looting stuff, a helicopter turns up. Not outside. No, no. No, no. Through the building. Just doing its thing before Vanish. I, I'm i not even sure how and why that's turned. But it, it, <laughs> I don't know if it's a player vehicle. Or quite, I don't know. It's just done its thing. Baldry is up next on Wreckfest. Uh, they are at the start of a race around Deathloop. Everything going fairly well until a little bit of contact midair sends the Eagle for a tremendous accident. Fortunately for them, however, despite a huge wreck, they don't actually really lose all that much. I mean, the, the car's a bit damaged, but yeah, it's a massive accident. Uh, the vehicle managed to get flung around. In fact, the muscle car that started, I think, was a car that lost a wheel in all of that. Uh, they got pinged around. But yeah, with a, with a quick reset, the Eagle's back going again and has barely lost any time at all. But things do not quite go so well for a rock tuner here on Wreckfest. Now, they are driving the monster truck up against a field of killer pigs. And, well... You would think the monster truck could win all the battles, and while it rolls one of the killer pigs over, the killer pig decides to get its revenge. As the vehicle kind of flips and twists, it in turn launches said monster truck clear of the barrier at turn one. That's not what you were expecting. Uh, <laughs> driving a monster truck in that field. Ohana is up next on Gravel. Now, they are leading the way in, uh, in, a, in a race, everything going fairly well, a very high speed race around here, when they just ever so slightly clip one of the checkpoints. Uh, gates and that sends the mini into a massive tumble. It spirals its way down a hill. I'm kind of, unfortunately, in some ways, it gets caught by some trees and, and the rock face there because I wonder how much further that would have rolled. I think it would have rolled 
a long time going downhill there if it hadn't got stuck on the side. Uh, Calvin Toller is up next on a set of Corsa. Now they are driving, what is it, cross cart? I think it is. Uh, crazy little uh, off-road racing vehicle around a rallycross circuit. When they get things a little bit wrong, just carry too much speed into this chicane and manage to wedge it. Yep, that's wedged between... Well, the tyre bundle and whatever is, I guess, kind of like the apex marker on the corner, and that's not going anywhere. That would be a lot of G-force suddenly occurred there. And uh, finally, we have Reza, also on a set of Corsa. This, though, is an AI Lexus that is doing its best. Will it roll impression? And the answer is yes. Yes, it will. The Lexus very much will roll. It's fallen over. It's had a pretty bad day. Now, I know this is a selection of kind of various category GT cars and, you know, the mods, etc. But uh, still, managing to go for a tumble on a curb is mighty impressive for anything. And yeah, it was just a proper full-on grip roll <laughs> off, of the, off of the curb. I mean, the Lexus, by the looks of it, had already been in a shunt somewhere before then because all the windows are smashed and everything but still this is riding on board with was it nsx i think was a little bit further back that was uh, that was watching this uh, chaos unfold and yet as they slow down for this corner the lexus it just bounces on the curbs it's not even the biggest of curbs in the world it's just yeah it's a really impressive will it roll impression from the ai they can they can make cars they can make cars roll off of curbs just as well as i can Slightly disappointing, really, but there we go. <laughs> that is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.